Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream daily Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Friday 3rd, May 2024. Friday of the fifth week of Eastertide. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. Philip, to have seen me is to have seen the Father. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, my dear friends, we also celebrate feast day of St. Athanasius, doctor and bishop of the church. Friends, as we begin our celebration of the Holy Eucharist, we ask for God's forgiveness, for God's mercy, for truly we have sinned. You were sent to hear the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace, though sinners, we are made just and though pitiable, made blessed. Stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, he who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and let us listen to the word of God. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate mm. had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days, God made his choice among you that through my mouth, the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins, I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles, on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things known from, from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of stra strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless His name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce His salvation day after day. Tell His glory among the nations. Among all peoples, His wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is King. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please all rise to honor the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Friends, O the gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. Friends, the gospel, the good news of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I'd like to begin with questions. What gives you joy in your life now? Is it the sense of security you have from having a comfortable life, which means sufficient daily provisions, roof above your head, insurance plans for the very uncertain future? Or for those who are achievers among us, like Attorney Wito here, is it the sense of accomplishment over a successful career or a very productive profession? Or if you are the relational type, like uh, Senator Sonia Rojo, is it the love you enjoy with your family or among friends? Or maybe you are a mystic like uh, Father Jason, and you are easily moved to tears of joy over the simple things of life, such as seeing the sunrise or the smile of strangers or beautiful flowers. Indeed, dear friends, what gives you joy? There's a saying that for one's life to have meaning, one must follow one's bliss one's happiness or joy. Yes, joy is certainly one of the gifts or blessings of the Easter season. We talk, for instance, of Easter joy. What is that? How does that differ from the joy of Christmas? The Easter season, which is a long one, 50 days from Easter Sunday until Pentecost Sunday, is supposed to pour down on us many graces. We talk of New life, for instance, for Christ to save us on the cross. Or new hope, for indeed Christ's resurrection means eternal death is no longer our destiny. Yes, Christ's resurrection makes all things new, as Paul tells us. Everything is new. And so we pray for and wish everyone not just new life or new hope, but also new beginnings new strengths, new energies. In some places, Easter coincides with spring. And so visually, everything is really new. The whole world is a new creation. But what of joy? Can we pray for new joy? What do you think, Mark? But is it new in the sense of being fresh? Or new in the sense of it is something else, this Easter joy. Friends, our gospel today is the continuation of the gospel yesterday, which was the gospel last Sunday, when Jesus was preaching about him being the vine and we, or us, being the branches. He ends this sermon today 
with the mysterious words, I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. He doesn't promise us any joy but my joy. Notice, he tells us what he is imparting with us is his own joy, which would complement our joys. In other words, he doesn't say, I will give you happiness. Instead, he says, I will give you my happiness. But we ask, what then is Christ's happiness or joy? And what readily comes to mind is Luke's parables of the lost. The lost sheep, the lost coin, the lost son. For in these parables, Jesus tells us, in every finding of the lost, God and all of heaven rejoices. In the story of the lost sheep, he says, there is more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need to repent. Similar, similarly, the prodigal father says, let us rejoice because this son of mine was dead, but is now alive, was lost, but is now found. From these stories, what then is the source of Christ's joy? Man's repentance or the finding of the lost, which is actually Christ's mission. That is Christ's joy. The joy he wants to share with us to complete the simple joys we have in life. This is the new joy of Easter. So we ask, can you share with that kind of joy? Can you see yourself pursuing that joy? David Brooks, a famous writer in the U.S., differentiates between happiness and joy. Happiness is the expansion of the self. Your degrees, your accomplishments make you feel big, for example. They fill up or enlarge your ego, as it were. But joy, he says, is something else. It is the transcendence of the self. We felt this at the Edsa Revolution, for example, or at the visit of Pope Francis. It is when you feel that you are part of something bigger than yourself. To be precise, when you feel you are part of God or God's story or God's mission. Friends, what gives you joy? Is your joy founded in the joy of Christ? Amen. Let us now offer to God our prayers, our intentions. Our faith in God is shown in our love for one another. Let us keep the Father's commandments and so remain in his love. We say, Lord, let us remain in your love. Lord, let us remain in your love. May the ordained ministers of the church draw strength from their pastoral ministry, from their dedication to prayer and to the word of God, and from the grace of the sacraments they celebrate, we pray. Lord, let us remain in your love. May consecrated men and women never forget that Jesus in the tabernacle wants them to be at his side so that he can fill their hearts with the experience of his friendship. We pray. Lord, let us remain in your love. May government and civic agencies fulfill the Lord's commandment of love by their dedication to the welfare of the people especially of those in great need. We pray. Lord, let us remain in your love. May the Lord let love reign among the members of the family and cooperation and friendship among neighbors. We pray. Lord, let us remain in your love. May love prove stronger than hate, joy overcome jealousy, forgiveness banish revenge, and trust remove fear. In our hearts, we pray. Lord, let us remain in your love. We also pray for those celebrating their birthdays. Rogelio Javier, Christine Plan, 
and Elsa Abrio, we pray. Lord, Lord let, let us remain in, in your love. love. For the healing of Christopher Acevedo, May Sinus, Michelle Salvador, mm-hmm. Tisha Aganon, Karina Ali, Laurelin Minion, Abby Puno, Seth Verhel de Dios, Joaquin Patawaran, Jinky Eugenio, and Doris Orejana, we pray. Lord, Lord let, let us remain, remain in your love. For the repose of the souls of Teresita <clears throat> Tagura, Annie Hizon, <clears throat> Luminosa Predo, Rene Sagisag, <clears throat> Benedicto Malu- Mangolabnan, Floy Quintos, Thor Alvis, Ram Maramba, Bienvenido Tino, Emilia Arbis, <clears throat> Father Vincent Col- Cullen, SG, Marie Tan Delfin, Feliza de Guia Vebayo, Felix Flores, Leonor Serrano, and Felipa Jeslani. We pray. We pray. Lord, Lord let, let us remain in your love. love. For the special intentions of Thelma Ali, Sandy, Lani Simpson, Lourdes Garcia, Elo mm-hmm. Santiago, Nate and Hans, Annie Bautista, and Maricel Olarte, we pray. Lord, Lord let, let us remain in your love. love. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, let us remain in your love. We pray for one another for that Easter joy that Christ imparts with us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, let us remain in your love. Lord Jesus, without you, we can do nothing for our salvation. Fill us with your love that we may love and serve our brothers and sisters without reserve. Amen. 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 To God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray, O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they now acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My dear friends, a mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onestor Bishop, all the clergy, and all your faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. We pause to remember and pray for our dearly departed. Have mercy on them, Lord, and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints, including St. Athanasius, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. We now pray to our Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us now pray for peace, peace in our hearts, in our minds, our spirits, in our families, and in all our communities. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. We offer each other Christ peace. Peace, peace be, be with, with you. you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we, called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of our Lord bring us everlasting life. Amen. Amen. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and leave those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the Mass is ended. Let us go serve the Lord and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God.
Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.